company and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing, <laughs> sorry, this is really hard to talk with. Today we are doing this pumpkin makeup. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do something a little different than I normally do since all of my videos are pretty much glam makeup. No, not pretty much, they're all glam makeup. So I wanted to try something a little bit spooky for this year. Um, so yeah, I decided to do this. There was a version of this that I saw on Pinterest and I wanted to remake it on my own and do my own little take on it. Um, when And it didn't turn out exactly as I wanted it to, but that happens um, and you guys will see. From the beginning, I was completely winging this. Um, I had a couple ideas in my head, but I was just going with the flow. And everything was going wrong. I don't know why, but this video just nothing wanted to work with me today. So that's what happened. But this is how it turned out, and that's okay. So I hope you guys like it. If you do, don't forget to give this a big old thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye guys. Hey guys, so I started by taking the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette and I started with the color VIP and I just applied that right onto my brow bone. And then I took the shade Access and I just applied that right into my crease with a fluffy brush and I just blended that out. Next I took the shade Secure and I just went over what I did before and just blended that out into the crease. Then I took the shade Smooth Criminal and with a very small tapered brush I applied that to the outer corner and then again worked that into the crease and then blended it out. And then for my lid I used the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre and I just applied that all over my lid and blended it out as a eyeshadow primer. Then I took this gold shade called Guilt Trip and I just applied that all over where I applied the primer. And then I just went back with the other colors that I did before into the crease and I just blended out that gold just so that it wasn't so harsh. Also dragging that color down to the lower lash line. And now we're moving to the other side of the face. Then I grabbed the NYX Jumbo Pencil in, I think the shade is called Milky, I believe. And basically I just mapped out where I was going to put the latex on my face or where I was going to draw out the pumpkin. And I did grab the orange paint, but this is where you're going to see that it starts to go downhill. Oh yes, I forgot to put my hair up. But I started to paint my face, and then here it is. I realized the mistake that I made. So I grabbed my latex because I realized I messed up, and then this happened. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Winning. Let's see that again. <laughs> yeah. And it went everywhere all over my camera all over my makeup all over the floor just it was great <laughs> okay so one latex just went absolutely everywhere and two i just wanted to pause the video so basically i wanted to lay latex down before i started painting um and i totally messed that up so i'm just going to um start putting the latex down now i was gonna blend it in to make it look like my skin so we gotta do that before we start painting and I gotta but look at this I have latex all over me well you know what it is what it is it's one of those nights nothing wants to go my way tonight so let's just jump back into the video <laughs> so then I just grabbed a q-tip and I started applying the latex down now I am gonna say I used tissue for this part and I laid it down over the latex that's not what I would recommend this worked but I think it would have worked better if I just laid down latex with no tissue um, because it just came out really bumpy and I think I would have had better luck if I just kept applying layers of latex so if you do use this method and you're doing the, to the torn skin thing that's what I would recommend because just it didn't work out for me not great didn't love the way it looked 
I then grabbed my spatula and just started applying latex to the edges and pulling it out, trying to make it blend more in because then I knew I was going to have to cover it. So I was trying to make it blend, but honestly, it didn't work that well. And then I just let the latex sit and dry. And then when that was done, I went in with the foundation that I applied to my face earlier and just blended it out with a brush and tried to cover it up and blend it with my skin. As you can see, it stood out. So that's what I was talking about with not using the tissue if you're going to do this because it just, it's just a little bumpy. I was able to blend it decently with a sponge and stuff, but you see what I mean. I used a little powder on top of the foundation just to set everything, just like you normally would with your face. And then I took that spatula again and I just started lifting up the edges. You want to be gentle with this, obviously. You don't want to hurt yourself, one, and two. You don't want to rip too far because then you're just going to rip the whole thing off. But I just started kind of peeling it away to make it look like it was my torn skin or, you know, like my skin was lifting up. So yeah, you know what I mean. You, you guys get it. Ah, finally, back to the orange paint. Now that we're back to that step. So basically, I just started painting the rest of my face, that whole half underneath the tear, and down my neck and my chest, and yeah, just making myself orange. I had to do a couple of layers. Obviously, you can tell that the first layer is pretty transparent, so I had to keep going over it, but you know, it worked out. Kind of. <laughs> it was very, very orange. Next, I took a liner brush in the black face paint and I just started making the lines down my face and connecting my neck, my chest and the neck piece. You see what I'm doing, you know. Um, I, <laughs> this part, I look like a basketball. Let's just be real. I look like a straight up basketball. And then I just started to take the black and line out the edges of the neck piece. Next, I took these paints. These are basically like grease paint, like regular Halloween makeup that you would get at the store. But yeah, I just took the black on a eyeshadow brush and just started to blend out the edges just to, you know, rough them up a little bit, make them look a little more blurred. And then I took this black eyeshadow and I did the same thing. I was actually setting the grease paint, but also kind of flaring it out a little bit, shadowing it up. Then I took this Morphe palette and I started adding some brown in between the black. It's moving right along. This is going fast. But yeah, I just took some black paint and made some cracks and just tried to make it look a little more creepy. And then I went back to the grease paint and started to flare out these lines. Um, basically just did the same thing like I did on my chest. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make it look a little bit more shadowed, a little creepier. And then I just did the same thing as I did before and I grabbed that black eyeshadow and just started setting the grease paint and also shadowing out those lines and just adding a little dimension and of course making it more creepy because that's what you want for Halloween. And I don't know really what happened here. I just started going crazy with the shadow and made myself a little bit more dirty and yeah, you see. And then I grabbed the black paint again with a liner brush and I started painting my nose like the typical jack-o'-lantern triangle nose and I just filled that in with the black paint. And again the same thing I did a triangle on my eye like a jack-o'-lantern and did the same thing filled that out with paint and then once the paint was done I actually went back with a NYX jumbo pencil in the black shade and I filled in around my eye and my eyelid because obviously you don't want to do that with face paint. But also what I forgot to show in the video is that I set all of the pencil that I'm doing with black eyeshadow. Then I took the NYX liquid suede lipstick and I believe this is the shade Alien? I think, but anyway, I filled in my lips with this 
And then I took some black paint and a liner brush and I just dragged the paint up basically to give it a creepy smile. Kind of like a pumpkin, kind of not. I don't know. <laughs> it's, you know, kind of, right? I don't know. I was totally just winging this look. So just, just go with me. Just, just come along for the ride. Next, I decided I wanted to make it look like my mouth was stitched up, so I grabbed some twine and I dipped the two ends of the twine into the latex and basically just held it there until it was sticky enough and it held on there pretty good. I was able to move my mouth actually, so you want to make sure that they're loose enough so you can actually talk. If not, you're just going to rip them right off. And then um, once the latex was dry, I just painted the little ends with black paint, one to cover up the latex and two to make it look like they were sutures. And lastly, I took some of that grease paint again and I just started doing little highlights with, I mixed a yellow and an orange together and I just kind of started highlighting it just to give it some more dimension, you know. I also put in a contact and I didn't film myself, so sorry. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe! So, <laughs> I have twine in my mouth right now. Just, we're winging it, guys. <laughs> oh god, it's in there. Just, it's a cluster. What happened? What was that? Twine. Oh, that's the twine. Oh, that was a wishbone. Oh, this is gonna be the worst. If this stains, I'm so screwed.